Grand rising, grand arrival, grand return. Peace and blessings to the righteous and repentant alike. I am Sophia of the Americana Band of Indians, and this is your daily transmutation report where we practice manipulating the incoming rays to the earth in a format that best serves our creator. Today is July the 20th, 2024. It is Saturday, 6 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time, coming to you from the Sunshine State. We have the sun at 28 degrees of Cancer, getting ready to transition. We have the moon at 14 degrees of Capricorn, getting ready for our full moon. We have um, Pluto at zero degrees of Aquarius, and we actually have our part of fortune at two degrees of Aquarius. So fortunate energy as it relates to our transformation, which is really helpful. We have a trine going on between Mars and Neptune. Uh, Mars at 29 degrees of Taurus and Neptune. I'm not trying. I'm sorry. A sextile. And Neptune at 29 degrees of Pisces. So definitely stories of drive, passion, and assertion. As Mars energy mixed in with spirituality, imagination, and transcendence at Neptune energy. So that's a really, really interesting combination we got going on here. We have a trine between now Mercury, which is our mind, communication, intellect with Eris, which we haven't talked about a lot, a lot, which is discord, strife and need to assert one's authentic self. So definitely staying, it's a trine energy, it's a flowing energy. So Eris is helping you to, um, transform your mind into its authentic self and not being lost in a bunch of, um, you know, stuff that's not real. And being that this is fire energy, this is like rapidly happening. This is all consuming. So it may be a little bit of, uh, some challenging energy today. So keep your head might be a little difficult. All right. We're on day 15 of our lunar cycle. We have a 14.2 day old moon. This is full moon season. We have 98.1% uh, illumination. We have a moon rise time of 8.22 p.m. and a moon set time of 5.25 a.m. For our astrotherography Tree of Life yearly progressions, we are in sun energy all the way until August the 6th. And this is the Three of Pentacles, which is good results and teamwork. And we can best transmute this energy by using Three of Cups energy, which is happiness and gratitude through the lens of our 10th house in Cancer, which is to follow your emotions, be compassionate and forgive. So definitely counting your blessings, being compassionate, learning the lesson and forgiving people is going to be the best way to transmute this energy. For our sun decan, we are in four of cups energy, which is plateau, bored, and disconnection. This can best be transmuted by using the four of pentacles, which is security, limit, and conservation. Utilizing the seventh house of Capricorn energy, which is careful with partners, avoid large crowds, and driven to succeed. So definitely um, conserving your energy, staying connected to what it is you do have and not worrying about what you don't have. Um, that's how you're going to best navigate this energy. For our North Node, we are in Two of Wands energy, which is plans, travel, and new ideas. Or this is just literally outside validation or outside um, uh, influence. Trying to make the world happy, you know. Um, and this can best be transmuted through the two of swords, which is indecision solutions, or basically our internal intuition, um, card where you just have to listen to what's on the inside of you and not the external part. And we can do this through the fifth house of Libra, which is collaborating with partners and understanding. Sometimes it takes love to fully flourish. This could also mean self-love intuition. Honestly, truly practice is the, is the practice of loving yourself, you know, and that's what we need to be successful at this time. We need to love ourselves enough to trust our own intuition. 
And I think that is easy for some and it'll be difficult for others. And we're in this energy, though, all the way until next year when we switch. Um, I think it's next year when we switch DK, I mean, switch signs. So um, we have plenty of time to work on it. This is just the beginning. We'll see this on many levels and uh, hopefully we'll be able to navigate this successfully. So if you enjoy this type of astrology content, please go over to our YouTube channel at Sophia Spiritual Light is my handle. Um, thank you for joining us here today on the Daily Transmutation Report. Peace and blessings and we will see you tomorrow.